Hello and welcome to StarMade. This is BeetleBear, co-designer and artist of the game. This is part one in a multiple part series on the basics of StarMade. In our first video we will learn about the in-game user interface, using the shop to expand upon your starter equipment, and build our first ship, a harvester that will yield us good credits if we find a space station and salvage its valuable plex glass. In our second episode we will begin to expand our ship using wedges and the advanced build tool, We'll add some shields and weapons to our ship, and find some space pirates to own. On our third episode, we'll start covering the AI unit, Bobby, using cloakers and jammers, and building on a planet using the build block. We'll end with buying and building our very first space station, and creating a docking area for our ship to land. Alright, so, to start off, I'm going to show you guys the user interface. If you press F2, you can mouse around. You can see your credits up here, all the menu shortcuts, your speed, and what system you're in, which is important, and who you are. That's me, I'm Beetle Bear. And we are currently in 2, 2, 2. Well, we can see that there's a shop in range. And this is our little mini map. It shows us this pink dot here is a shop. This one over here is an asteroid. So if we turn around, we'd see it over there. Hello, asteroid. Okay. Down here is our hot bar. You can use the mouse wheel to scroll through your different things that you have in there. And then we have our hit points and our power. If you press escape, you can get out of escape by pressing back. You can suicide yourself, which would bring you to this undetonator here. This is where you start off. If you find another undetonator in the universe, even this one over here, you can change your spawning point. So if we found a station, or we built a station, or a planet or something, we can build undetonators on those and spawn there. So this thing I'm looking at right here is a shop. Everybody starts off next to a shop, so you can buy stuff. And since it's the beginning of the game, we're going to have to decide how we're going to make some money. Because we only start off with 25,000 credits, and this basic stuff down here, which is some hulls, uh, some power, thrusters, a weapons computer, and the cannons for the weapons computer. So I've already decided that my first ship here is going to be a salvaging ship. It's the most uh, non-aggressive, least hostile way of making money and not getting owned by the pirates that you find in the beginning of the game. So I'm going to get rid of my weapon controller and my weapon cannons and my hulls by simply dragging them into the shop. I pressed B to open up the shop, and you can press B to close the shop. In the shop itself, you can click on these little categories, and you can find different things to buy that are found throughout the whole game. From ship parts, to hulls, to docking units, lights, um gravity units, all kinds of fun stuff. So, the first thing I want to do is buy a couple power units. Bring it up, bring my power units up to 10. I don't need extra thrusters. We'll build the most basic of ship first. I'm going to press I and show you that everybody starts with a ship core. Ship core is like the main computer of your ship. Your ship core controls other components of your ship. Some components that control are controlled by your ship core control other components. So, to make this more simple, let's build a ship. I'm going to press X. That brings up the Build the Ship dialog. I'm going to name my ship Beetle Ship. And there it is. There's my ship. That's a ship in its most basic state. You can press R, and it'll take you right into build mode. Now you could fly this ship around right now. It has very basic power and thrusting capabilities, but you could fly it around. And if you press spacebar, you can switch between flight mode and build mode. You always want to build your ship in build mode, otherwise components may not get connected together properly. So the first thing we want to do is build an engine of some sort, or power recharge, I mean. Because we can see down there at the bottom of our screen that 
we're not recharging any power at all. But we can also see here on the left side of the screen that we have 20,000 power. So we need to add some rechargers, which are those things that I bought 10 of, or I bought five of, I think I started with five. At any rate, there's two ways to do this. There's the way that doesn't give you a lot of recharge, and then there's the way that gives you a lot of recharge. So the way that doesn't give you recharge, I'm just going to set it up. Okay. So right now, with all those blocks, my recharge is 999. You can see that right here. But... I can configure this in a different way so I get more recharge for my blocks. So I'm going to take away these blocks because they're not necessary. And I'm going to stick them on the ends of these. And now, with those same three blocks that I just removed, I have 1472. How? How, you're wondering? Well, this is box dimensions. What this is saying is that there's three units going this way, three units going this way, and three units going this way. Imagine that there was three units going this way and this way and completing a cube. That's what it's doing by configuring it this way. It's imagining that there's other power recharge blocks there that aren't actually there just by this configuration. But if you remove these blocks and make a cluster, it doesn't give you that much recharge. Okay. Now we need something to thrust our ship. So I'll add some thrusters. And there we go. That's your most basic ship. You got power recharge and thrusters. You can press spacebar now and press WASD. Which will give you make you go forward backwards, left, and right. If you get off center, you can press C, and it'll align you. So now I'm pretty straight with this. You can go up and down, or down with Q, and up with E. If you hold down Shift, you'll stop. It's not an instant stop, but it's really dependent on the weight of your ship and whatnot. And Lastly, you can press Z to roll to the left, and X to roll to the right. You can also use the left control, hold that down, and use your mouse to roll as well, if you prefer that. But we're not done. We can't make credits with this basic ship. It doesn't have anything to make credits with. Sure, we could go find an asteroid and hand pick things off of it and run back to the shop, but we have to get out of our ship every time and what not to do that. So, instead, we're going to get in our ship. Oh, I'm already in the ship. <laughs> we're going to buy a salvager. Salvaging computer. That's under the ship category under the shop. I pressed B to get into the shop. So I'm going to, I only need one salvage computer. And then I'm going to buy a bunch of salvaging cannons. So I'll buy, let's just buy 60 of them, why not? So it tells me that it's going to be 24 grand. I got 32 grand, so I'm cool. All right, that's all I really need from the shop. Okay, so now I need to select the core, pressing C, and then select my newly bought salvage computer with the either the mouse wheel or with the number one button because it's on it's right there in number one and I'm going to put that right there it's the Sal 2000 okay so now that I have that computer that computer is connected to that and we can verify that by pressing C so C shows you what by the yellow box or the orange box shows you what you're what you have selected the purple boxes show you what that's controlling so right now the core is controlling the thrusters by itself and this computer 
So if we select the computer itself, the SAL 2000, now that's orange. Now we can select our salvage cannons, which are two, or you can use the scroll to select two, and we can start building some salvage cannons. And as long as the salvage cannons aren't touching, they're considered independent cannons. So, I'll start building one right here. And this front one is the output. So that's where the beam will actually shoot out of. So that's 13 total cannons on that side. And then I'll build another one right here. And since they aren't actually connected, that's connected, that's not connected. And you can verify that by pressing T. If you press T and you click on salvage computer, it shows you how many groups you have. So I have two groups, and this is their salvage speed, 3.2, or 0.32. If I connect them and press T and look at salvage computer, I only have one group now. And it's way slower, too, for some reason. So this is more efficient to have two of them, like this. And I also like to have a third one. Okay, I was just making sure that it was going to output the beam correctly. And I did that by pressing spacebar. Okay, so there we go. I have three cannons on there. I could probably actually add a little bit more on each one. And as long as they're not connected, touching corners is not connected, but if they're connected by a actual block, then they become one unit. Okay. Press T really quick. Click on my salvage computer. I can see I have three groups. Well, that's interesting. My salvage speed was 3 point something before I added these four extra blocks. Let's see if it changed. Look at that. Salvage speed went up. That's awesome. Okay, so we don't need as many blocks as we thought. That's brilliant. Alright, so now we're ready to go make some money. So we'll jump in our ship. Oh, we're already in our ship, but we'll go into flight mode by pressing spacebar. And we could look for an asteroid. Asteroids are great, especially if you find like a level 5 mineral. But you probably won't find something like that in your starting area. But, let's test out our cannons. So, press T. Make sure you click on that salvage computer, and make sure it's assigned to a number. See how I'm changing my hotbar down there? I'm changing the computer around. So I assign my computer to key number 1, so when I press 1, it, wor it starts shooting the cannons that are associated with it, which are these three cannons here. Have at ye, asteroid. Oh, look at that beautiful speed of mining. And that's cool and all, but this ice and this rock is only, like, worth 10C, which is nothing. What we want to find is some plex glass. So we want to find, like, a space station. And sometimes I just stop at a mineral, just to, or not a mineral, an asteroid, just to see if there's a cool little level 5 mineral or something sticking out of it. Uh, sometimes you get lucky. Okay, so I'm going to press N to bring up my navigation. And we're going to scroll this list here. We can see ourselves right here. We're the blue. It says our ship name and who we are. Uh, you might see other blue in there. They could be from the trading guild or they could be other players if you're playing multiplayer. There's a shop. That's probably the shop we were just at. Hmm, no station. So we're going to have to explore out a little bit. Let's see. Where should I go? I'll go towards this star over here. And one thing you can't do is salvage a shop. And if you shoot at a shop, you'll get a special surprise from the space police. They don't like when you do that. So let's see if I press N again. I'm looking for a very specific indicator on my map. It's a it's like a dark blue 
triangle. Looks like there's a pirate coming my way. That's not good. Not good. There's a lot of pirates, actually. Okay. Where could those pirates be? I want to go the opposite direction of them. I'm going to go this way. Okay, I think I avoided the pirates. Check out this asteroid field here, see if there's anything good in it. Ooh, minerals. Get some of these minerals here. And don't worry about getting lost in space either, because once you find another shop to sell these minerals that you get, you can uh, set your spawn point there. Nothing good on that one. Well, there's a shop nearby. There could be a station nearby the shop. Let's check it out. So I just clicked on that shop in my navigation, and now it gives me a white waypoint that I can travel towards. So if we had found a station, we could have done the same thing. But we didn't. We found a shop. But that's cool. We can see how much these minerals we found are worth. And I'll keep checking N to see if I can find one while I'm moving. There we go. There's a station. Yep. And that's another thing. that You'll learn while you play to use things like shops and stuff to you know, just kind of get you around the galaxy and kind of learn how to find special things like stations and whatnot. I mean, planets are pretty obvious. You just fly towards them and, you know, suddenly there's a planet. It's pretty awesome. But stations are, you got to use the navigation a little bit more to figure it out. Okay, and it looks like we're flying towards the bottom of it. Stations are great because you, it's a good supply to the new player of all kinds of things, from hulls to engines. So at the bottom of this black thing here, you can get some engines. And then the valuable resource here is this plexiglass at the top. You go in here with your little harvester that you just built. And just get some of it. You don't have to get all of it. Unless, you know, you find it therapeutic like I do to sometimes just salvage things. But even this little tiny bit that I've got so far will give me good money. And you too. Okay. So we got some of that. You can check the station out for yourself. Uh, but it has these four uh, black pillars that have engines all over them. You can go inside. There's lift in there. It's pretty cool. Let's find a shop and sell what we just harvested. There just happens to be one right here. Nice. And then in our next episode, we're going to expand our ship. We're going to use some wedges and the advanced build tool. We're going to add some shields, use some weapons, and we're going to fight some pirates. Probably even use a gravity unit, too, or something. That'll be fun. All right, so I found the shop. It's pretty close to that station, so I could, I could possibly mine that whole station. Get a ton of money. All right, sell these black holes. So I started out with 10K. Sell some of this garbage here. Okay, now I'm, I'm still at 10K, so I barely got anything for that stuff. Now, 121 glass. I'm going to make 60 grand. I'm at 70 grand now. So if I went and got all the glass out of that station, I mean, I could have all the money I wanted 
to buy other things out of the shop, like weapons and, you know, decorative panels if you want, you know, just make your ship whatever you want. So in the next episode, that's what I'll do. That's exactly what I'll do. So I'll, uh, I'll mine some more plexiglass, and then we're going to make an interior for my ship. And we're going to make some weapons, some shields and whatnot, and kick the crap out of some pirates. Well, thanks for tuning in, players, and a special thanks to Yogscast for their awesome video for bringing so many players to our game um, from the bottom of our hearts. We love that everybody's loving the game, um, and I look forward to the next episode. Beetlebear out.